How do you create this part in Fusion 360? Coming up. Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. Let's get started with this tutorial. So this will be one component. So we can start with a brand new component and start building it, or we could just work um, by default and save it as a body, that's fine too. So what I wanna do is do those rectangular plates at the bottom first. And we're gonna use some constraints to get everything lined up properly. And the reason we do this is so it makes editing it later a lot easier. So if I were to make these dimensions, 45 and 50, we're in millimeters, so what constraints do I need? Well, if you look at this, this whole thing moves around and is easy to mess up. That's not what I want. So the first thing I need is to select and hold control or command if you're on a Mac and do the relationships between the endpoints. Make those horizontal. So now that lines up with that corner and those two corners line up. Great, and then let's do a distance between these. I'll do 60 and then I'd like for these two lines or edges, excuse me, to be equal. And once it goes all black, that means it's fully defined. That's a great sign. So now let's extrude both of these going up. We'll do 10 millimeters, that looks terrific. And now for the bridge, this is where, when you're looking back at this part, this looks kind of fancy. Maybe you thought about a sweep. Maybe you thought about a, diff a few different ways to make this, and it's actually not as complicated as that. So what we want to do is come in from the side and start a sketch. Okay, so we'll come in from the side and I'm going to sketch the lines going up and don't worry about that nice rounded angle. We'll come in and do fillets at the end to make it look like we saw in that example. So I'm going to sketch my lines and I'm just getting it kind of close and we'll use constraints to finish this out. So be sure to finish out the sketch so it's done in its entirety. And now what we wanna start doing is adding the relationships or constraints. So first I'll select these two and make them equal. I like to do it with a right click or you can come up and pick it in the menu. Both work great. And same thing, so we'll select these two lines, make them equal, these two lines are equal. You can see it's starting to take shape. It's looking better. And we'll drag it in to the edge here. And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to make sure that these two are parallel, not necessarily equal, but parallel. So I'm kind of just dragging the shape and now we can start to add any any dimensions that we know. Sometimes this happens, it'll shift around and I don't like that, so I'll hit undo. There we go. The height, great. Distance. And I want the distance to be uniform. Make those seven. What still moves? Does anything still move? If I drag it around, nothing's moving. That looks good. So now what we're gonna do is extrude this all the way. Now it'd be good if we could, if we type in the value, if we know that, or we um, do an up to next. So we can do to an object and go to this end or this end face, and that will make it intelligent to where if you were to ever make these bottom plates larger, that it'll update and solve with them, if that's your design intent. Great, next. Next, we need to do a cut. So we're just sketching a rectangle over here and we'll make sure that it's uniform. We can do that a few different ways. Okay, so how do I center this? I'm gonna show you my favorite trick first. Sketch from the middle to the midpoint of where you want it to go. It might be off at an angle. That's fine, select it and make it go vertical. And now it's all lined up. I love that it's centered. And then we'll drag in a dimension, D for smart dimension 
and we'll do an extruded cut with E, E for extrude. We're gonna extrude this whole profile and it's a cut. And to make it intelligent, we can go up to, instead of the distance, we'll go all the way through, it cuts it out, looks great. Okay, so if you'd like to, go over to your browser and you can uh, hide the visibility of your sketches if they're in your way for a minute. And what I wanna do is round off those edges. So I'm gonna to go to what's a feature fillet, hit F for fillet. And what I do is just select all the edges. I'm gonna do a matching radius for the inside and outside of these edges. And we'll round that off. Type in a value for the fillet. Hey, if you're looking for more Fusion 360 tutorials, check these out. Hit that like button, hit subscribe for me. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. See you guys in the next video.